Okay, I know it's been a while since my last video, <clears throat> but let's pick up where we left off. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, I'm sick right now. So this episode is going to be about one of the most fundamental aspects of our ray tracing system. <clears throat> so we populate our scene with a group of objects, um, and these are implicit objects that have equations that define them. There are other types of objects that we'll be utilizing later, but they're more difficult to define. These are the most straightforward ones. So we populate our scene with a set of objects. So let's say planes, spheres, rectangles, triangles, stuff like that. So we want a class that allows us to use polymorphism, uh, dynamic uh, object creation so that we can have our group of objects be cycled through without having to know specifically which type of object we're talking about. So we want to create a base class. So let's do that now. Actually, we can create our package and we'll call it geometry. Oops, sorry about that. Let's press now. We'll call this package geometry. And then we're going to create a class and this is going to be our base class. So let's just call this geometric object. We can always change the name later. Uh, you can call it object, but you run into some problems because Java already has a base class called object. So for our public class geometric object, we want it to be abstract because we cannot explicitly define a geometric object. This is just <clears throat> stating that it is going to be some kind of general object and we want to derive that object later in a um, derived class. So what we want is just one very clear method. Um, it'll return a double and we will call this hit and it takes in a ray. We can import ray. So what this is saying is that every derived did not import every derived class that inherits from geometric objects will need to implement this hit function. And what this function does is it takes an array and it returns a value which we call t. It's a double value that states where our array intersects our object if it does at all. When we implement this, we will return uh, zero if it doesn't intersect at all, or the actual value of where it intersects. So that's the basics of this episode. That's all I'm going to talk about. The next episodes will be, I guess this will be a three-parter, so we'll have this class for this episode. Then we will discuss the plane, and then finally the sphere. And then we can actually uh, utilize the loop to create our first image of a plane in a sphere. So that's it for this episode.